always stopping to check out little areas like this. I've driven past this area probably a thousand times, maybe more. But I've never stopped to look and see if there's anything going on. Now, obviously, there's always been water here. So you're not going to see anything that was brand new. You can't really build over here. So i got to stop and see if I can recognize any old bottles. This week seems like it's going to be a big exploring week. Now this is an area I've been to many times before. They're building a huge flood retention wall and all this black clayish dirt was never here. They trucked this in. Well, they just happened to put it on top of a really great hunting ground. But I'm going to try to scope around, especially this edge here, and see if they jostled anything around. Now, as I'm looking on this whole push up here, and there, there's an old, uh, newer bottle right up on top. I mean, this is all you need to see to take some time looking at a few things. Look at this old insulator with the wire salon and copper wires. That would have been a cool piece if it didn't break. It's right next to a plastic bottle. So this stuff is mixed in. You just kind of have to look everywhere and hope something on the older side made it. Uh, that's 70s, 80s little beer bottle. I thought I liked the color of that. You don't know what's going to actually pop out at you. Like, for instance, huh, little door handle. Oh my goodness. This is how it happens, and this is live, as live as it's going to get. I saw this door handle, and then quickly, quickly looked up, and what is sitting right on top there? You know, you see it. What are the chances that that's sitting right on top? Chances are we had a lot of rain lately, so that's why these things pop up. There's a marble. Amazing. But just one. You'd think I'd find a thousand of them. But I'm going to guarantee you that's going to be the only one. Tell you about these kind of areas where you can definitely see there was a rain wash and things coming up. You do want to spend a little time here looking at this stuff. It's all brand new, brand new hunting. Shells coming up, you want to see. Bricks coming up, you want to see. So this whole section, I'm going to spend a little time looking, even though I've been here a thousand times. Right down the street from my house. I can go whenever I want. This definitely appears like it would have been on the older side. Even though it's beat up. I'm gonna take an eye on it, like look at it. Yep, that would have been older. Just grabbed an old milk glass. Although it has some chips in it, I can't believe with all the trucks that run on this that I might find anything still intact. It might be something with a little fancy on it. Yeah. So I'm just picking anything of my interest here because I didn't expect really to find anything. So I'm going to do a a little photo at the end of all the things that I find here all cleaned up.
I knew it was gonna be worth coming back here. Hello. That is in great shape. Wow. And look at where I'm walking. And after searching that whole entire area, the oldest piece is right here. Look at this. Oh, if there was more to you. I know there's not, there's no chances, but that's a blob top. I'm sure the rest of the neck is gonna be here, but now you're in the 1800s. Rats, where's the rest of you? You're not down there, are you? I know, I should have the glove on, but I'm just feeling if the rest of the bottle's there, it's not. That's what we're talking about, history. Jeez. Well, this week I'm trying to go with a little different tactic, and that's volume over time. I'm trying to hit many different locations, as many as I can, in the week that I got this week. So I believe already this location could be my fourth or fifth just today, and I know of three or four more I can hit this week. Seems like today's going to be the day of doorknobs. You can see I just pulled up that white one. And this one's got a lot of corrosion on it. I might be able to clean that up. Hmm. What else are you going to drop out of here today? Not really sure what I have here, but it's worth cleaning up. Oh, that's not worth losing. Looks like maybe a door for something. Maybe a little makeup case, not sure. Well, I got about 20 minutes into digging around this toilet bowl which I can't get out because it's so far down but I'm getting a few things coming out around it it's an old condiment jar something big right here I'm trying to get out it might be a mason jar I'm hoping it's a little on the older side now again I'm higher up on the dump here so these are typically not the older bottles but sometimes something cool has come out of here I'm hoping for my second marble of the day but that rarely happens. Still digging around that big jar. A whole bunch of other ones came out. But again, they're not that old. I think we might have a pretty giant makeup case here. I can see the brass copperish coming through. So I'm going to clean that up. I'm trying not to beat it up anymore. It's kind of heavy though. Interesting. Try to get that up. Well, it was a big old jar, nice big old jar, but it's not a mason jar, there's no embossing on it. You can see how many other jars came out. I thought this was milk glass, but that's just the contents in it. God knows what was in there. Ugh. 
still a decent spot. I'm gonna try and do a little more digging. Maybe I can get that toilet bowl out. Well, no sooner did I take two more scrapes and seeing the copper wire in the top part of this, I knew right away what it was. And this looks totally intact. There's an awesome wire insulator. Okay, I gotta try and get up and rinse this off. Don't let me forget my glasses. Oh, that was an awkward little spot. I made a nice little seat out of that rubber tire. But I wanna get this thing rinsed off a little bit. This may be a gem of a find today. And just what I was looking for. Something interesting, something special, and something intact. It's gonna go right along with that bowl I found earlier today. Yes, and there's some embossing on this guy. All right. Now you can see what these things were used for. Usually the copper's not on here. And people who don't know, don't really know what it was used for, but that's the copper going around it. Made in the USA. This thing is awesome. Number four, Wittal Tatum Company. It's got everything. <clears throat> wow. And it's on the older side. Excellent, excellent find. Okay. Fantastic. That's gonna clean up nice. Let me get this wire off of it. I need that. Look at you. Look at you. Incredible. Look at the color on this thing. Wow. Oh, you're a peach. Don't drop it. Crazy. Well, this hole just keeps getting better and better. So I'm looking at a bottle here. I'm not expecting it to be that old, but I do like the circle pattern that I see right now and the embossing on it. So I don't really know what I'm digging out right here. I like the cork top. Oh, I like the strap side. I may have to get up and wash this one off too. This is a little more aged. Let me see if I can stand up. Oh my goodness. Oh my knees. What is going on here? Nature's washing machine. You got embossing. And you got a crack. Rats. Oh my god. That is not what I wanted to see because this thing is a peach. Uh, Wyeth and Bro, Philadelphia. It's got everything, but it does have a crack, son of a B, son of a B. Well, I'm gonna take you home. That's it. That's a downer. All right, it's okay. Crack or no crack, you do have some history to you. Here's another great location. I've been wanting to spend a lot of time wandering around in here. I love like basketball. How funny is that? Especially on a low tide like today. And it's muddy. And we'll see what comes up. Well, before all this mud came over it, there's a bottle right here that I have my doubts about, but I wanted to check anyway because it had so much on it. What are you about? Um, mm, you're kind of hard to tell right now. 
Yeah, probably a 60, 70 soda. There was probably a label. What I am seeing right here, I believe, is an old enough Pepsi Cola for me to take. And what's even cooler than that, while well, I bent down to pick this up, and I'm glad I did, look at what's right there. What are these? Hello. Oh my goodness, someone's really old glasses. How cool are those? Wow. I wish I brought a bigger bag. Okay. Let's clean you guys up a little bit. Where did you come from? I think they're shades, maybe. Yeah, the other things that are coming out. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Cool. Well, I'm getting out for a quick little beach hunt. We had a couple of really high tides recently and the low tides have been pushing out. I'm hoping a few things got tossed up on top of the beach. I'm probably not going out in the water today. It may even start raining on me. I got a nice section look here. You can see the tide line already. And we have some blown off sand here. We will have a discount code in the description of this video for these awesome waterproof cow cow boots. Silent night, holy night, all is come, all is bright. Child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly Silent night, oh.